White top is a terrestrial herbaceous weed native to Europe and Asia. It was introduced to North America in the 1860s, possibly as an ornamental or garden plant. It was subsequently introduced multiple times as a contaminant in alfalfa. Though it's established throughout much of Northern and Western North America, it is most problematic in the West. White top is often found in arid to semi-arid climates along roadsides, waste ground, ditches, and irrigated cropland. It can also be found in non-irrigated cereal, hay, and pasture crops. White top is considered one of the worst weeds of agriculture in several parts of the world. It reduces pasture and crop production and is an alternate host for many important crop pests. It is toxic to livestock, especially when large amounts are digested. Grazing animals exposed to white top reportedly have tainted milk or meat up to a week after exposure. White top displaces native plant species, alters natural food webs, and may increase streamside soil erosion. White top is a perennial form. Seeds typically germinate in early spring, forming loose rosettes and growing long, fleshy taproots as well as creeping lateral roots that give rise to new shoots. The greatest proportion of white top biomass is below ground. Leaf appearance can vary by infestation and environmental conditions. Rosette leaves are up to four inches long with short stalks. They're grayish green, scattered to densely hairy, and can have smooth or toothed margins. Stems bolt in early spring, growing one to two feet tall with multiple stems arising from the same root system. Stem leaves are alternate, have only scattered hairs, are somewhat smaller than rosette leaves, and have two lobes each which clasp the stem. Flowering occurs in late spring when large white flower clusters are formed at the tips of numerous clumped branches. Each flower is from one eighth to one quarter of an inch across and has four petals and six stamens, characteristic of the mustard family. Fruits are small, flattened, upside down heart-shaped pods up to an eighth inch long. They're green at first but turn straw colored at maturity and each contains two small reddish brown seeds. A typical plant can produce several hundred seeds that may remain viable in the soil for three to four years. White top stems die back to the ground in fall and winter and new stems re-sprout from roots in early spring. While some spread by seed occurs, most population spread is vegetative through creeping roots or severed root fragments. The four petals with six stamens help differentiate white top from unrelated look-alike species. Several related mustard species are present in North America, and some native and exotic species have white flowers similar to white top. The exotic perennial pepperweed has similar white flowers and can occur in similar habitats. Perennial pepperweed grows much larger than white top and has less dense flower clusters. Horiolissum grows in a similar habitat and has somewhat similar leaves. Horiolissum flower clusters are much narrower than white top and its flower petals are fringed. White top is part of a complex of three closely related species that are all problematic in North America. Lens potted white top and globe potted white top are so similar in appearance and ecology, they're often lumped together on state regulatory lists. Lens potted white top has round, flattened seed pods, while globe potted white top has inflated, globe shaped seed pods. <laughs>